Hey everybody, Israel the, the Jedi Ninja here with my first official lightsaber review for the channel presented to you by, by Voto's Workshop. Say hello to my dog, Sayla. She's gonna be joining us for the rest of this presentation. This right here is the Genesis. This is all the angles I can show it to you from. I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts straight out of the box. I'm gonna show you some video of me twirling and spinning. I'm gonna show you some video of some balance work and some strike drills, and then some flips and tricks from the gym. But starting with what I got in the box, shipped from Spain, straight from Voto's workshop, lightsaber. Revenge. I must have revenge. Instantly dug it, pulled the kill key out, and was excited. The sound was great. Great ignition. I loved the color and the sound quality. Looking at the hilt itself, the design is simple, but elegant. I dug it. It's uh, in length, the same length as my Saber Forge uh, Arbiter. Not quite as big as an Ultra Saber, but not quite as thin as a Saber Forge. It's got some heft to it, but not heavy in a weird way. I took it apart just a little bit, because I had to see what the insides looked like. I used to do installs over at Saber Forge and uh, was immediately impressed by my inability to notice the seams of the Saber. The thread job by the machine shop and the design is really, really well done. Very, very seamless presentation of the Saber. But the best part about this is the chassis, 3D printed, to hold the board, the battery, and the speaker. And I would assume, Voto, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, bud, but you also have it all the way up to the switches. Am I right or wrong? Not sure. Didn't pull it apart that much because I don't want to mess with it too much. I like the way it seeds in. My favorite part about this though is for me, I do a lot of combat and a lot of choreography as well as a lot of like spinning. Biggest part for me was how snugly this fit in. And it's really hard to describe without actually having one in your hand. Everybody I brought this up to, I'm like, take it apart and I'll put it back together. And they've immediately commented on how snug that chassis fits into the hilt. Nice, solid standard, uh, 31 inch or 30 inch blade. And overall, I'm really, really, I'm really happy with the product. Again, uh, Nano Biscotti V4, Got a nice high bass speaker. Um, you you put it together really, really well, and it's super solid. I've dropped it several times, but um, most of the time was accidental. Both on uh, carpet bonded foam, um, carpeted regular carpeted concrete, and my spring floor at the gym. The next biggest thing was minor dings and scratches. I'm sorry, that's, it's minor. Minor dings and scratches due to production, wiring, stuff like that. Those things happen, so I wasn't too worried about that. Overall, though, the hilt's really super clean. Some critiques about shipping to overseas customers, because he's located in Spain. And if you don't know, kids, that's in Europe. So I got European and Asian-style plugs. For an American customer, not what we need. Um, so that is my one big critique for you, Voto, if you're listening, buddy, is that right there. Add an attachment for your American customers. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to sh source our power somewhere else. Really, really enjoying the Saber. Really, really happy with what you've done for me, Voto. Um, I look forward to your next designs and seeing how intricate you get with your builds. And that's all for this part of the review. Now, I want you to check out these spins, check out these flips, leave me a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff and leave me a comment in the bottom. If you want more lightsaber reviews, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.